Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will be talking about the black market auction house and I will explain how you can make some gold with this auction house. I made a similar video two years ago but I just want to provide you with an update and I also want to make sure that people who join my channel since then can also learn more about the black market auction house and how to make some gold with it. Before I start going through the list of all the different ways that exist, I just want to provide you with some quick information and some important information about this auction house. So for those of you who are not yet familiar with it, basically this auction house has been implemented into the game back in Mist of Pandaria, and you are able to buy a lot of items that, for instance, have been removed from the game or that are very difficult to get, such as, for instance, world boss mounts, uh, raid mounts, and also pets and transmog items. So this specific auction house works only with bid prices. It means that you will only be able to bid on the different items and you won't be able to directly buy out all these different items. All the different items are reset every day at 11.30 p.m. So at 11.30 p.m. you can go check and all the items that appear will be available until the next day. So it's 24 hours. Normally most of the different auctions available will become medium or short after 7 p.m. So what I would recommend you to do is to always log in and try to check the auction house at like 7 p.m. so you can see if some of the items you are interested in are already on short or not. Keep in mind that you will have to always like be the best like bidder in order to actually receive the item. So sometimes you will have someone else trying to like also get the item so you will have to outbid the person. When it comes to the location, basically, if you want to access the like normal black market auction house, you can come here in Ravendreth and inside this little building, you will have the vendor. You can also get it in your garrison directly uh, by completing like different type of activities. And the last method that is, in my opinion, the best is going to be uh, farming the encrypted black market radio. So this is an item that you can craft with the profession in Mechagon. And after that, anywhere you are in the world, you can then just spawn this little vendor and you will have access to the Black Market Auction House for five minutes. So as I mentioned, there are really a lot of items that you can purchase from this auction house, but only a few can actually then be sold on the auction house and that you can make some gold with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the five best items you can purchase from the Black Market Auction House and that you can make some gold with. At number five, we're gonna have the unfamous unclaimed black market container. So these containers are basically containers that can contain anything from the black market auction house. Each time you will only receive one item and it's exactly the same for all the different characters. Meaning that for instance, even if you're playing on a warrior, you will still be able to get some cloth or mail or lever items. So, Many, many times you will unfortunately receive items that you cannot even use on your character. Again, this is something that is really risky because this is completely random. And so most of the times you will end up with some items that you really cannot do anything with. And so you will just lose the gold. I made a lot of openings, so you can also check that. And you can see that many, many times, unfortunately, I just lost my gold. So for all these reasons, I would only recommend you to invest in these uh, black market containers if they are less than 100k gold. And even 100k gold might be a little bit risky because again, it's pure gambling and many times you will just end up losing your gold. So consider doing that only if you already have quite a lot of gold and you are ready to make this uh, risky investment. After that, at number four, we're going to have the Dark Moon Ticket Bunny Pack. So in this Dark Moon Ticket Funny Pack that you can start purchasing after 5,000, and of course then people can bid more and more, you will have a chance at getting up to 500 Dark Moon Price Tickets. What's interesting is that then with these Dark Moon Price Tickets, you can go on the Dark Moon Fair Island and you can buy some very cool items, such as, for instance, the different replica transmog items from the Dark Moon Fair. All these different items, if you want to buy like a full set, meaning eight pieces, will cost 500 tickets on average. So really, if you can get 500 tickets from this funny pack, you will be able to buy a full set of replica items. And one full set, meaning the eight pieces can be sold on average 
like for 200 to 300k gold on US and on EU realms. So definitely worth investing some gold in. I would only say that this is something you can invest in if it's less than like maybe 50 to 70k gold because after that you need to keep in mind that all these different items might take some time to sell because these are transport items. And so in many time, in many cases, you will have to wait before making some profits or just reimbursing the money you invested in the Dark Moon uh, ticket fanny pack. So just keep that in mind. But definitely, if you see one for less than 50k gold or maybe 70k gold, I would recommend you to invest in. After that, at number three, we're going to have the Battered Yield. The Battered Yield is a quest item. And basically, this is something that you were able to get back in Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, when completing some dungeons, you just need to kill some random mobs and there is a small, small chance at getting uh, these different quest items. And when you complete the quest, you will receive one achievement and also all these different appearances for weapons that can be very, very cool. So there are two different items. There is the Alliance version and the Horde version. If you are doing the farm on a Horde character, you will only be able to get the Horde version. And then on the Auction House, you can only buy the one that is specific to your faction. So for instance, if I'm playing on an Alliance character, I will only be able to purchase and see the ones that are Alliance specific. So what's very interesting with this like Black Market Auction House is that here you can really purchase both versions on the same character. So even either if I'm playing on a warrior and on a or character, I will be able to purchase the alliance version and then to sell it on the auction on the normal auction house. So this is the only way for one person to on the same like character in faction uh, be able to get both battered yield and to actually sell both of them on the normal auction house. So for me, I would say that you should only invest in these different uh, quest items if they are less than like 30 or 40k gold. Because as you can see, for instance, for the Alliance one, it's going to be between 85 to 100k gold on average. And same for the Hold one, it's going to be between 84 to 136k gold on average. So it's always something that will take a little bit of time to sell. And also, as this is something that people can like farm pretty easily, you might have also quite a lot of competition. So only do that if on your auction house it's interesting enough and really if it's less than like 30 or like really 30k gold should be the maximum in order to invest in uh, these quest items. So after that at number two we're gonna have the TCG mounts. So TCG are basically the trading card game items and these are some mounts that you can only get through the black market auction house or through the like normal trading card games that have been completely like stopped uh, like being produced back in 2013. So these items are really interesting and I would always recommend you to invest in if they are not too expensive on the black market auction house. Normally these auctions will always start at 10k gold and most of the time they will go for like maybe a million or two million golds but you can then very easily make a lot of profit with them. So keep in mind that there is only the Woolly White Rhino and the X51 Never Rocket that are available. The Riding Turtle is binds when picked up, so this is only something you will be able to use yourself and you won't be able to then resell it. In order to check the current like value of these different mounts, what I would recommend you to do is to go here on this website, WOTCG Loot, and then here when you click on Auction, you are able to access this like basically like system where you can see all the different TCG loots that are currently being sold on the normal auction houses on all the different realms. And you can like that check what is the current value of these different mounts. So as you can see for the Woody White Rhino on European realms, it's going to be between like three to four millions. And then on US realms, it's going to be pretty similar, uh, between also, um, let me just check two, like two, three million gold. And for the X51 rocket, it's going to be on US realms. Anywhere between um, through to like three million gold as well, and on European realms is going to be between, let's see, anywhere between three to four million gold. So definitely interesting and definitely worth investing if the price is very cheap. I would only recommend you to do that if it's again less than maybe like a million, a million five. Sometimes even like two millions can still be interesting. For instance, on European realms. Then in order to sell the mounts, you can of course 
try and sell it on the normal auction house, but it will always take some time. And also there is a big uh, commission fee, so you will lose quite a lot of gold when selling it directly there. You can also advertise in trade chat and try to find some people interested in buying it. Or you can also go on the Discord channel that I'm always like talking about. It's called War Market. And here, if you go in this section for European realms, TCG loot or US realms, you will be able to find some people who are interested in buying these different mounts. So as you can see right now, for instance, the minimum price on European realms you will be able to get is 2.7 million gold. So if you see this mount for less than that, you can purchase it and then go here, contact this person, and most likely the person will then buy it from you, depending on which realm you're playing on and where the mount is, of course, located. And now at number one, we have all the different pets. So you really have a lot of different pets. You have, for instance, all the different Argent tournament pets. You also have like the rare raid boss from Mr. Pandaria and also some TCG and world drop from Baniyawo. So all these different pets can be more or less interesting. What's good is that, for instance, with the ones from the Argent tournament, the different like bid auctions will start at 1000 gold. So many times you will be able to purchase some of these pets for like 1000 gold. For the ones from the raid bosses, it's 20k gold minimum. So these ones are a little bit more tricky. For the TCG items, it's also, uh, I believe, 20k gold. But these ones, you will definitely sell them for way, way more. And then for the world drop, it depends on the item, but most of the time it's also going to be between 1000 gold to like 10k gold. So for me, I would say the most interesting ones are going to be the Argent tournament ones because really they're extremely easy to get and then you can sell them pretty easily for quite a lot of gold. All of them can be sold between like 10 to 30k gold on average. After that, the TCG pets are also extremely, extremely good because again, this is something that people always want to purchase. And so you can sell them sometimes for like up to 400, 500 K gold. Again, if you want to check the current value on your realm and on the region, you can go here and normally you will have all these different uh, pets available. So really just go here. And for instance, here, you just saw the rocket chicken for like 200 K gold. You can go here, just check and see if this is something that you will be able to make a profit out of or not. So as you can see here, that's the case. And after that, of course, some of the wall drop are also very interesting. I'm thinking, for instance, about uh, the captured firefly, about, of course, the different parrots and uh, some other items that the disgusting hosting that can be sold for quite a lot of gold. For the different raid bosses, uh, I would say the most interesting ones are going to be definitely the droplets of Ishar. Uh, maybe some of these, like the Dark Quibbling Blob, uh, this one as well, and the Son of Animus. But some of them might be a little bit too risky. So these ones, I would only say, check your realm first and really make sure that uh, the prices are interesting enough for you to invest 20k gold in these different pets. Also, there are four pets that you should really not invest in because the prices are either very bad or simply because you won't be able to then resell them uh, on the auction house. So first of all, you have the living sending. So this one really is extremely, extremely cheap on the auction house because this is a normal drop from like normal mobs. And so I would not recommend you to invest some gold in. And then you also have like these two that are completely uh, like uh, binds when I picked up. So you cannot then cage them and sell them on the auction house. So you have the thundering serpent, hatchling and little nefarian. And then the last one is actually going to be uh, the banana charm. So this is one of the TCG items, but basically it was made like accessible to like all the different players back in 2021. And so now the value is extremely, extremely, extremely bad, like two, 3000 gold on most rooms. So I would not recommend you to invest too much. Uh, but yeah, other than that, all the pets I would say are extremely interesting and you should every day check if you can maybe try to find some very cheap ones and then to sell them. And keep in mind that again, you can always decide to buy one on one realm then cage it on another realm so you can also really make a lot of gold on different realms even if you buy the pets on a different realm. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and I really hope you will be able to make some gold with the Black Market Auction House. I will be back very soon with more guides and with more videos but in the meantime I wish you all a great start of the weekend and I will see you all very soon. Bye!